Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video we'll gonna discuss uh, with uh, uh, with Eureka server how we'll communicate uh, with two microservices, right? So already we have seen how to register our application to Eureka server and in the same applications we'll gonna see uh, from that Eureka through the Eureka server how we'll communicate uh, microservices okay so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notification from my side so this is my channel if you'll see lot of uh, helpful videos are there spring boot crud application and uh, uh, junit integration testing and a lot of kafka related videos and git related videos are also there you can explore them as well and it, it will be really helpful to people for interview as well as uh, real-time application development okay so let's jump into today's uh, discussion so already I have up and running all my applications so uh, payment service and service registry config server ticket booking service so all are up and running so for payment service I have two instances running and ticket booking service one instance is running and Eureka server is uh, already up and running now let's go to that Eureka server and I'll show you what are the instances that it's running. Okay, so if you'll see payment service two instances 8082 and 8083 and ticket booking service 8081. Okay, now let's uh, as we'll communicate from ticket booking service to payment service. So already we have those codes with fin client. Then what we need to modify to use that config or uh, not config servers my bad so uh, eureka server okay so how it will communicate to eureka server to fetch all those uh, all those uh, available instances so little bit modification required as we know we are using a uh, thing client to communicate uh, microservices so if you'll consider in the existing thing client what we have done in application dot properties we have this payment service uh, ribbon list of servers so here we have given list of servers what are the service what are the server servers available or it's running so but if you want to connect to eureka server what we need to do uh, what we need to do uh, first we need to uh, pointing to this uh, default zone to uh, to register this application to eureka server and next thing what we need to do we need to comment out this particular line because this list of servers this is not any static data as we are connecting to uh, this eureka server so from this eureka server it will fetch all those uh, available instances so no more uh, mm, uh, no more changes only this single uh, line of code will be enough okay so to get this application uh, to get all these applications knowledge whatever i have developed here config server payment service and service registry ticket booking service already i have uploaded a series of videos you can watch them to have your completely uh, complete understanding right so that thing client and all already i have explained in that earlier videos and i will keep those videos in the description link you can watch those videos to have a complete understanding okay so already all those applications are up and running now let's uh, now let's try testing our applications okay uh, and i will show you a practical example also so whether uh, it's taking from uh, this eureka server or this static data anyway in static data 8082 8083 port is there uh, so 8084 port is not there so i will run on 80 85 port of this payment service and we'll gonna test that one as well so i will dynamically run that uh, payment service instance with different port and i will show you okay so uh, let me test that application so i will hit that uh, payment service url uh, book ticket thing that uh, i will hit okay so the response is coming now let's see it's coming from 8083 port right let me hit again 
it coming from 8082 port the C right so it's working perfectly now let's run our payment service again with different port okay so for that one I need to configure this payment service how will configure just see right click here run us run configurations uh, it will open a window like this so the same thing will copy here duplicate this payment service is already there right so let me change that name to it's running on let me run in 8085 port and in arguments uh, hyphen d server 8085 port okay apply and run so i have run a instance dynamically now it now this instance will register to our eureka server okay if i will go to that eureka server here uh, currently 8082 8083 is there so now i have added one more instance so if you'll see here to reflect it will take some time cancel okay so payment service let's check what was the problem terminated Achha, 8085 port is already in use so let let me change that on to some other port let me take 8086 8086 apply and run 8086 let's see okay good uh, 8086 in this port is running now let's see uh, to this eureka server and let's refresh just see 8086 one more instance is there now let's hit our endpoints so ticket booking from we are hitting ticket booking service and ticket booking service is calling payment services okay so let's hit and we'll see 8086 is coming or not in that port section 80 just see book with the port 8086 okay so uh it's working perfectly and it's fetching all those available instance from eureka server or service registry and it's applying the load balance load balancer and calling available instances okay so hope you got a crystal clear picture uh, how we can uh, have a service registry and we can communicate uh, microservices uh, with Eureka servers uh, Eureka server okay so th so um, have your valuable comments in the comment section guys it will really help us uh, uh, really help us and uh, boost our uh, <laughs> boost our minds to have upload some more videos like this okay so thank you uh, thank you for watching guys have a nice day